Hello everyone, uh, how are we doing today? My computer is working behind the hay right there. So I made, I think, basically this is a demonstration. I'm trying to make this game right now, obviously. Um, it's called Loot and Dare Dirty Tits. Loot and Dare ended yesterday. <laughs> um, probably not going to be answering it because <laughs> uh, it kind of ran out. But the idea was um, ancient weapons. So I was like swords, bows and arrows, you know? And so started working on this on Saturday, spent all of Sunday trying to figure out this one algorithm that out, okay, and I figured it out, I'm gonna share it with y'all, okay, so I basically made a demonstration, um, so, uh, yeah, so basically what this algorithm is, is the midpoint displacement algorithm, it's a way to generate terrain, by taking two points, and getting their midpoint, and adding that midpoint's y value by a random number within a, a certain range, okay? So, and then you can do that, you can iterate over that, see, iterations, um, and it will increase, it will get all the points that it currently has, and then it will um, get the midpoints and raise them up higher. Uh, let's see it as an example. So first off, I'll start in the center, and then it will do it in the dirts, you know, where it's like one dirt, no, no, it won't, it won't be in the dirts, it'll be every time it's a quarter pass, so let's do this, so, so, um, I want to give you guys an actual example, so, it decided to raise it more than zero this time, <laughs> um, so, the random number I chose is greater than zero, so it raised it up, um, and so now we're going to go over one more iteration, and I decided to leave the right side at zero, and the left side went up. And we're just going to do this a ton of times, and then it just eventually goes like this. Now this is basically 129 uh, points, okay? Um, and so that's 129 points that were all created except for two by two points midpoint. The two points um, that are not included in that are the edges, so like right here and right here, okay? So because you kind of have to, you know, have some kind of basis. And so I'm going to reset it, um, and then I'm just going to auto-generate from now on. So see, now it went, this point is closest to the middle, so we can assume that it went down, okay? Uh, let's see that. See, it went down. Um, and so let's go like this. So you can just see how much is evolving, you know? It's always random, so. And see, that time it stayed at the middle, it stayed at zero, and it kind of stayed at that zero point um, throughout it. So basically, also, by the way, this is zero. <laughs> I should say that. And then this is um, my height, the window's height, divided by two. Um, that's plus, I think, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then this is um, um, the opposite of that, um, which is still height divided by two. Um, and so I have this little variable called variation divider. Um, so basically what variation divider is, is how much, how whenever I iterate, how much further is it gonna be from the last point, you know, or from zero. So right now it's at um, four. So basically that's, I'm taking the height of the window and dividing it by that number essentially. And let's clear it. And so let's increase the, no, let's decrease it, the variation divider. So we're gonna decrease it to two, just about two. That's basically two. Now we're gonna go with that. It's very, different, isn't it? It's uh, a lot more slope. And it kind of, you see, it's really pretty much a lot more varied. Now let's take it down to almost zero, okay? Okay, so we got a point six. You guys ready? <laughs> yep, you can't even see it. That's because um, we're basically dividing by a fraction. Whenever you divide by a fraction, you're actually multiplying by the reciprocal of that fraction. So it's a 
So it's over 100, so that's about 3 over 50. So we're basically multiplying, um, we're basically multiplying by 50 over 3. And that's like 16.6666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666666
the index maybe or uh, make sure it's within this language okay and then we go through all of our heights which is really just our y coordinates of the line okay and so we add to our output list um, the midpoint so this is midpoint comma uh, y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and then we're uh, we're at I guess we need to do something called So basically what this does, it, it um, generates a random number within the range. So the opposite range and the positive of the range. Okay? And so that's really just where it goes from here to there. Okay? Let me type this in right. Okay. And so we do that for all the points that we currently have. Not what's in the output, because that's gonna keep going and going and going and going and it'll never end. So we have to do it as what we ha currently have in height. And then we return the output. Um, and then when we wanna do less iterations, uh, first off we remove like, honestly I don't wanna send this part. <laughs> um, so basically, make a copy of the heights in our output and then and then we check if the size of um, our current um, heights are is greater than two so it's not just these two points right here and right here our starting points and so it counts down the iteration like it should and then and then it removes some of them <laughs> I don't really know why I would do that kind of thing. I'm guessing, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. I just, I know it's removing them. Oh, okay, so basically whenever, I think it's like this. So whenever I remove something, I'm taking that element out, and then, I'm s and then I go on to the next one. Let's see, let's see what that's showing. So I have the array one, two, three, and four. Okay, and so I decided to remove the in the, the an element at the index of one. Since uh, arrays are zero based, zero index, meaning one is zero, two is one, three is two, and four is three. Those are their indexes, okay? And so if I were to remove the first index, put in quote first, I would get rid of two, and then so it would be one, two, one, three, and four. But see, I've already removed the, I've already done one. So and the the second, the first quote unquote uh, element up in the array is three now. But and then we go to i plus plus. Basically what that means i increments by one. Okay? And so now we're at four. Okay? So that's basically like skipping every second array. If we wanted to remove all of them, we would um, we would just clear it, yeah, it would probably like while like kind of like while um, the array isn't um, has elements in it, we, we would remove the first index and then remove first index and stuff like that. Okay? So, yeah. See, I love teaching. I love teaching because then I learn something from what I'm teaching. You know, and that's kind of why I recommend to my friends who are trying to study and they're having some trouble to, like, teach it to me, you know, so that they, so that while they're teaching it, they get an understanding of it for themselves. So yeah, that was that was midpoint of placement, and yeah, hope you all have a great day. Hey, let me see if I break anything. Boop, boop.
I didn't. Hey, I told you all. You should be should be afraid. Okay, but yeah. So, it's a little montage. I'm playing my little uh, pull-up thing. Thing it's it's pretty nice. Um, I'm trying to make it a one D side scroller, by the way. Um, that's what I'm trying to get. Almost like Terraria, if you want to think about it. And so, basically, what I'd have to do is I would have to make these lines because they are lines, obviously. <laughs> um, I would have to make these lines um, the tile width of the textures um, as well. I'm not gonna figure out how to do that. I'm assuming it's just um, the width of the window divided by the texture size, you know, the most common. Or I can really just have a standard texture size for all of them. Then yeah, let's do that. So anyways, guys, that was um, that was the midpoint displacement. It's a one D algorithm in my implementation. And implement how I import. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, how I implemented it is uh, as one dimensional. Um, you can do two dimensional, and heck, you could probably even do three. That's probably just cube replacement, honestly. Um, I know the uh, 2D one is called Diamond Square. Um, yeah, it's basically you get basically um, if you look at my what do you call it? If you look at my comment, okay, so it's basically like. So it looks at the edges based on the on the corners, and then it just does stuff. <laughs> really, um, I think it averages the uh, middle point and then raises it to based on these these two and these two. Um, it takes the average of those and then raises it or lowers it by a certain amount, uh, random amount, by the way. I think I'm not sure, um, but yeah, guys, that's uh, my video on midpoint displacement formula. I mean, formula <laughs> um, algorithm. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, have a nice day. A bye.